Hello everyone, Palites over here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we're taking a look at Malganis, the character that I call Mephisto over and over and over again on accident. He released with a 65% win rate, has received some extremely, extremely minor nerfs, is currently sitting at a 55% win rate, but an 80 fucking 2 0.5% popularity. 82.5! Keep in mind, a 50% popularity means there's a 50% chance, you know, a coin toss, that that character is going to either be in your game or banned. It's almost guaranteed that Amalganus is going to be in your game or banned. It's ridiculous. He's pretty strong. He's pretty, he's pretty, pretty good character. He doesn't deal much damage. He's more about setting up damage for the rest of your team and surviving through so much punishment. Uh, we're going to be playing him today. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in the Sky Temple today. The friendly team, Malganis, Lunara, Genji, Lieutenant Morales, and Zarya. The enemy team, Medivh, White Mane, Orphea, Johanna, and Li Ming. They got a lot of damage. Thank you. It's a lot of pain on that team. Uh, level one. We are going to go for time defeat. Malganus heals for 50 when damaging a nearby enemy hero. This can occur once every six seconds against each enemy hero. So everyone on the enemy team is going to have a little marker above their head. Uh, our Q ability is the Fell Claws. If we cast this three times, the third cast is a stun. It's a little dashes forward. It gives us a tiny bit of mobility, but um, mostly allows us to skirt around the middle of a fight. Our W ability does AoE damage, but what I think is more important is that it, it gives us armor. 25 armor, uh, which makes it significantly easier to go into these fights and to trade. Uh, mostly looking at Orphea in these team fights, I want to make sure I'm dodging those Qs to the best of my ability. And I guess I'll be heading up to the top lane now just to soak that. Everyone on the enemy team is missing except for Johanna and Lee Ming in the middle lane. So not too sure who I'm going up against here, but let's just try to push this in. Uh, See, so yeah, it does AoE damage, gives us 25 armor for three seconds. Our E ability makes us immune to body blocks, and every enemy hero that we pass through is going to be stunned, uh, slept, excuse me, slept, not stunned, uh, which obviously is pretty strong. Can you use your Q again? I'm trying to dodge it. Maybe the last one didn't hit me. I don't really think I win this trade this close to our buildings. Not at all. Uh, looks like Medivh getting himself into a little bit of trouble there. Genji going in on him. He is, of course, protected, by the way. Bot Soak. No, no, the friendly team's soaking the bottom the lane at all. Letting that XP go. It's a shame. Always a shame. The basics of the video game. Yeah. You know, should probably do that. Um, I don't think I win this. I really don't think I win versus Orphea. I don't do enough damage to actually, like, scare her at all. And then if I start to lock her down, all she has to do is land a Q and walk away. Yeah, it turns out Orpheus is real strong. Who would have guessed? Uh, I went in just to AoE one more time and get some armor, but yeah. We're just going to have to soak in this lane, boys. We're not going to win it. Not going to win it. Um, looks like Lunara didn't move down to the bottom lane and is getting some XP. It looks like she's beating the shit out of a Li Ming, too. Li Ming, of course, can grab her sippy cup there. Dutch. <laughs> now you can't do anything for eight seconds. I don't know what my spray is. Uh, this is my third game ever on Malganus, so, I mean, don't expect too much out of me. Lol, Pelly, we never expect anything out of you. You're so shit. Whoa. Uh, also, our trait, by the way, before I forget, just heals us. It's like for ability and auto attack damage, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So he has a lot of sustain, is what I'm saying. A shit ton of sustain. Uh, I'm going to go down to our morals and hopefully get some love. Maybe I can rally the team behind this objective here. We are missing our Lunara. That should be fine. Hey! Heal me! Hello? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. 
What was that about? Right, now that we got it, I might go try to punish this Orphea a little bit. Now, Orphea's really good at fighting heroes, but not super good at PvE stuff. So we might actually be able to push her out of here. I can at least stand on this for a little while. Trying to put her to sleep. I'm just gonna pressure this shit out of this white man. Was not successful. We're leaving. I mean, maybe I should have. I don't really think I could peel for Lunara very easily in that situation. Maybe that was the right play, though. Uh, looks like we're losing the middle objective as well as the top one now. The enemy team's pulling ahead on XP. We're not soaking the bottom lane. I mean, rightfully so, I guess. The objective was going on. Just pointing out things that I'm seeing, that's all. Just pointing out things that I'm seeing. I'd rather not be in the solo lane. I don't I don't feel too useful here. For, especially versus this Orphea. Uh, Lunar getting the camp at the bottom left location. Get this a little bit of map pressure. That's great. Two people up in the top lane means my team should be able to get value elsewhere on the map, which again is great again. Uh, we're going to go for the Will of Tychondrius. So our Q is going to steal percentage-based health away from this enemy team. Percentage-based health is better versus, you know, tanks. But still good versus any target. We'll go ahead and interrupt that heal that White Mane was doing. Try to put her to sleep. She's trying to run. She's trying to hide. It's not going to work, though. She's going to be taken down. Uh, Medivh making his way up top. It. Oh, my goodness. No shield? Did she already shield him? Did I miss that? Um... Yeah, I'm sorry, Genji. No one's so good middle. Gonna head down and do that. How's this camp doing? I mean, Li Ming isn't the best at clearing waves. Let's grab the region club. Get out of here! This little bite mark on Johanna's health bar is the heal that we can get every six seconds. Once we actually do heal, once she actually hits me, that is gonna go away. Uh, but everyone on the enemy team is going to have that underneath them. So that bonus at level one, we can get off of many, many members of the enemy team. It's not just one person at a time or anything. Uh, Zarya did die up in the top lane. The objectives pop it up in the bottom right now. Maybe we can move in and get some damage in here. But with the tower being so close, I don't think I'm going to try it. Genji on the opposite side of the map should probably start making his way down. Looks like he's just clearing that lane. Might as well get that last cast off. The enemy team is level 10. Soak to 10. Put the back line to sleep. That was actually really good. Backing up, though. Orpheus still on the other side of the map here. That's great news for us. Zarya getting that middle wave. We could probably just get this bottom wave and be good to go. Put him on to sleep again. God, that sets up Lunara so nicely. All right, we're level 10 now. I'm going to go for the Dark Conversion. Nice, nice, nice. Dark Conversion allows me to swap my HP with that of an enemy player. Did I cancel my sleep? So, as I was getting low on health, all we have to do is target, I think that time I did Medivh, and we're going to swap my HP with his. Which I hope I don't have to tell you is pretty strong. Now, when I was taking a look at Malganis, I wasn't sure which ultimate I liked more. Um, taking a look at Hot Slogs, we do see a 70% pick rate with his other talent. It's done here. Medivh making her protected is really hard, but we should be able to get this no problem. Uh, the, um, the other ultimate, the Carrion Storm, 70% 70, 70 pick rate uh, with a... 60, 56% win rate, whereas the health swap has a 51% win rate. Uh, so the community has, has clearly picked their favorite of the two. Um, I just like it. I think it's I think it's fun. Damn. Sleep wasn't fast enough. Even if it was, you could still probably get out. He has completed the master's touch, so we're not, I mean, it's whatever, really. We don't really need to kill him that hard anymore. Uh, we should definitely keep applying map pressure wherever we can. 
maybe getting this objective, maybe even doing boss since two members of the enemy team are top. Of course, they would see the boss coming, but they have to come across the map to stop us. That being said, our boss kill probably isn't that good. Lunara didn't get the PvE damage. Uh, she got the siphoning. Nothing wrong with that, by the way, I guess I should say. But I'm just saying our damage to, to push that down. Our ability to push that down wouldn't be that great. Uh, I think Orpheum Mr. Q there. So we have the potential to maybe engage. Put him all to sleep. Oh, she's stimming me. Oh. Isn't this an auto attack Zarya? No, it's Q. Alright, well. See you guys later. Maybe Stim Zarya. We'll give her a smile. I just don't feel like I do any damage at any point. I guess we've done 20,000 this game, but I feel like it's mostly with abilities. We also could have just walked away from that confrontation and been just fine. Uh, the enemy team's up in the top lane. I'm going to head down to the bottom lane. You know, doing boss at this point would actually not be a bad idea because we see so many of them up there. Uh, I'm going to try to soak to 13 really fast before the objective comes up. This wave should do it. As you can see, we don't have much wave clear. We don't really have that much damage. We just have sustain and like the most absurd amount of sustain that you'll ever see. I'm going to go for deep sleep here because it gives us movement speed while we are channeling our sleep on our E, the night rush. Uh, which I think is really nice for actually securing that, actually guaranteeing that crowd control on more people. Uh, I really like that ability. There, the most popular pick is the just pure movement speed when you deal damage. Good, good, good. Go ahead and swap with Medivh here. Good start! Nice! Come on, team. Get in there. Get in there. We should boss right the fuck now. Right the fuck now. Let's go, team. Let's go! Team agrees with me, too. Good. Good shit. Yeah, that sleep is actually really impactful. I mean, obviously, I guess. Uh, I couldn't get out of that because I just used all my Qs, so just pop my W there to get a little bit of armor. Just his, his overall sustain is super high. I don't think he's solo tank material, though. Uh, in the new classification that we're going to get for roles, he is going to be classified as, as a tank. I just don't... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Like I said, this is only my third game on Malganus. It's not like I've played him a ton. Um, my impression is definitely not solidified yet. Still learning as I go for sure. Come on, you can cut her off. It's more important to push with the boss than it is to go back for Ali Ming, though. Uh, once it's protected, by the way, it goes away. We'll go ahead and put these guys to sleep. Nice fucking ult again. Beautiful ult. Uh, doesn't look like there's too enough damage follow-up, though. We're going to go ahead and swap HP again with Medivh. I'm just trying to leave still. I'm trying real hard to leave still. Oh, thank you for the shield. I have armor. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Out. Whew. Just give it up. Just give it up. It's okay. It's just a building. It's just a building. We're going to make it our way up to the top lane. Uh, she's going to finish off that fort. We're going to go back. We're going to get full health and mana. Unfortunately, Zarya stayed too long. So, I mean, look, we've done 30,000 damage. I don't know if we're comparable with our team just because they're not doing a lot of damage or if our damage is just higher than I expected. Uh, blind as a bat actually would not be a bad idea with Zarya's Graviton. And she's been landing it on several members of this enemy team. Do we do it? I think it's one of the stupidest talents in this game. I really do. Uh, but this might be the game. This might be where we make it happen. 
Uh, everyone on the enemy team is missing, so we might want to assume that they're coming over to stop us since Bediva's scouting us. But it looks like they're taking their own camp on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Fucking. I don't. Okay. Okay. Blind. All right. I took it. Okay. Blind as a bat allows us to just spam our Q ability, as if it has no cooldown. Um. It also removes all vision that your character has, which I hope I don't have to tell you. Can be pretty strong. I don't know where they are. All right. Well, that's the fucking town. It's awful. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Damn. So while the Gravitron was out, I was hit with the fucking polybomb. So the only thing that happened was I couldn't see the enemy team. That was actually a decent sleep, I think. Uh-oh. Oh. Everything hurts. I got you. Don't worry, you're okay. And she's way overextended. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Get someone. There we go. Oh, Morals is healing me up. Okay, we'll push it back out. Good slows from Lenara. Really good slows. Really good slows. I can't go blind as a bat yet, but I want to. I'm trying to put Medivh to sleep so he can't save White Man. Oh my god. He did it. Fuck it! Someone's here! Someone's here! Where did they go? No! Oh my god. I can't believe that actually fucking worked. We need to get this building down. We should just get the building. Just get the building. Get the building. I mean, the objective's gonna do the same thing, but we can get this for free. Fuck! Alright. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Let's go die. Get out of here! You stop soaking! I think the reason our damage is relatively high is simply because, like, we have the sustain necessary to just kind of always be doing damage, right? It's not that it's good damage. It's most definitely not good damage. But it's the fact that we can just kind of do that damage all the time, which I think makes it really strong. It's kind of like, um... You know, way back in the day, you would get um, Burning Rage on a lot of characters. It wasn't because Burning Rage did burst damage. It was just that over the course of a fight, Burning Rage did enough to, like, just whittle down your opponents, right? I think it's kind of the same. Kind of the same mentality. Uh, do we want to show that we're doing boss? We're not 20 yet. I, th I think getting this is a better call. Because if we lose this, it's not game ending, you know what I mean? And if they want to, if they want to die for this, I mean, fucking let them. Medivh putting a portal down, but not using it. So level 20, we have fell claws and basic attack slow. I don't know if I agree with this. We pretty much waited for Orphea to respawn. Um, I'm going to go for the AOE dark conversion. So if the enemy team groups up at all, which they have been quite a lot, we should be able to steal a pretty considerable amount of HP. Uh, going in for the sleep. Beautiful. Just gonna try to stick on this leaming. She should be able to get away from me. I'm really surprised the team's dying. <gasps> the enemy team got boss? What the fuck happened? Orphea was zoned. Lee Ming was zoned. 
Unbelievable. That is unfucking believable. All right, just trying to peel Johanna. Off. I mean, we can, we can defend it no problem. It's not a big deal. I'm just fucking amazed that it happened. Absolutely amazed that it happened. All right, so we got this for free. I would probably just stand here and not take enough damage, not take any damage. Um, boss is only going to get the wall down. That's honestly fine. We already have the mercenary pressure here, so we're going to get that. We're going to get that. We're looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good right now. I cannot. I have no fucking clue how they were able to get boss when two of their damage were zoned away. Granted, I wasn't looking at my map while I was chasing Li Ming down. And admittedly, I shouldn't have chased Li Ming down if my team needed peels, right? I'll be the first to admit that. I just didn't think they needed any, to be honest. I mean, we still have Zarya as a, as a bruiser as our off tank, right? I, I really felt like that was going to be fine. Also, really underestimated the amount of damage I was going to take there. We almost died. Uh, Li Ming sitting up in the top lane is harassing our team. I'm going to be making my way up there. I am going to be late, though. Uh, the enemy core is getting beat up pretty bad. We may have enough in the tank here to end the game. Um, with this objective, but it's going to be close. Genji getting the stim drone. I hope he knows it's not a nano boost. Great ultimate, great Gravitron from Zarya. Unfortunately, no follow-up. Someone's here. Where'd they go? That's such a bad town. Oh my god. That's so bad. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch him before he teleports. Wasn't quite able to. Um, can't finish Lee Ming off. Kenji can though. Nice. Good extract. Actually got Medivh there as well. Bye. And that's about it. He is pretty strong. Pretty strong. Uh, my perception of them of him is that his damage was a lot higher than that. So it makes sense why he has so much sustain. Um, he has so much crowd control, though. Like, being able to put teams to sleep like that is so ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I really like that health swap ultimate. I wasn't really sold on it when we were doing our theory crafting, but man, that's, that's pretty fun. Uh, so the build I used today... Time Defeat, Fueled by Torment, Will of Tychondrius, Dark Conservation, Deep Sleep, Blind as a Bat, which I fucking hate still. I hate that talent. And then Wrath of Nathraza, which I didn't get to use. Basically, it does an area of effect life swap rather than a single target. So if the enemy team's really crumped up like they could have been in Zarya's Ultimate, if I'm low on health, all of a sudden I can make potentially a whole enemy team low on health as well, which is pretty busted. Um, up next, is it Mal Guinness? So Malthiel? Oh, Malfury! I was close. I was close. Uh, we're in the bottom half of our A through Z playthrough. We're getting there, guys. I think. I think I did the math. We have 38 more episodes to go. So hopefully we're going to be done by New Year. Hopefully. I'm going to try to make that happen. If we go into 2019 a little bit, you know what? That's okay. I've been sick for a fucking month, and I'd rather not, I'd rather not push myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take care, everybody. See you guys next time with Malfurion, who has fallen from grace in this past year. Okay, bye.